Hello everybody, Princess and Bear here. Uh, while we're living in the time of self-isolation and self-quarantine, we decided that we were going to do our best to support local businesses. Some of our favorites, some we've never tried. Today yes. is one of our favorites. Margarita. Margarita's Grill. It is a nice, quaint little Mexican restaurant here in North Florida that has uh, some amazing vegan options that the princess loves and plenty of stuff for a bear to eat. And uh, they have awesome margaritas. And one of the great yes. things right now in the state of Florida is that because of uh, what we're going through, they lifted the ban on restaurants being able to sell drinks to go. So we got our favorite margaritas to go safely home to drink here. right in here let's start with the margaritas yes. so i got a sangria margarita and i got a frozen uh we're on the rocks actually margarita traditional lime Trad traditional lime two for one because well they still have happy hour which we need a little bit of happy right now i'm so mad because i got a specialty margarita and if i had known it was happy hour i would have just ordered one of their ones that are on happy hour and gotten two for one this place is amazing they have like 16 different flavors oh, of house yeah. margarita their margaritas so are any of their like base flavored margaritas during happy hour is two for one Plink. oh yes <sighs> it's so flavorful it's so nice Ooh. We so don't have a. Fruity. It is absolutely delicious. Quenches the palate. Feel the tequila flowing through my veins. This is actually one of our pre movie rituals when we don't schedule like some sort of dinner. This is like our go to. Margaritas, yeah. I did a Disney movie. I mean, because what goes better than tequila and Disney? Yeah. I mean, Nothing I know of. Mexico stand, definitely. That's why you go to Mexico last. You. I'm never giving that up. But that's tasty. So we start with the chips. They do traditional chips. They're always usually served hot. When you get them to go, sometimes they're like lukewarm. Their salsa that they serve with it is a little bit watery. Um, but I mean, it's got like a nice little thickness to it, even though it is kind of watery. It does pack a lot of spice though. It's definitely flavorful in house. It definitely doesn't taste like something that was like bottled or anything like that. Mm -hmm. mm. Not too much cumin, not too much cilantro, not too acidic, nice amount of fire. This is what salsa should be like. Well, this is what I love is that every time we go there, their salsa is always consistently far. There's been a couple of times where... It's been a little bit too watery. Yeah. But like the flavor is really never a mess for me. No. And it's nice to know that they do make their salsa in house like so many other poser Mexican restaurants that just buy a bottle and go, hey, we make salsa. This is a Californian's Mexican food dream for a place that's predominantly Tex-Mex, I gotta say. One of my favorites that I actually had never tried until I started going to this place was a cactus taco. Usually this one comes with cheese, I just get it without. If you've never seen cactus before, cooked cactus, that's what it looks like. Um, depending on how it's cooked, it can be a little rubbery, it can be a little chewy. Theirs is never usually rubbery. Mmm. It's got a fire to it that I absolutely love. It's cooked through, it's crisp. Something about cactus, it's got like a sweet and tangy taste to it. I love it. I think it's great. I would have never expected to eat cactus, but yeah, now my mouth is like tingly far. I'll take a little baby bite since Prince only got one, but I do love their cactus tacos. Mm. I love the ingredients are always fresh. Everything yeah. always comes prepared, whether we get it in house or to go. These people have always taken care of us. And it's nice now, with everything going on, to be able to show them a little bit of love as well. Yeah, absolutely. I would definitely give that Pat's Taco four out of five claws. I'd order it myself if everything else on the menu wasn't so good. 
Agreed. So I got, interestingly wrapped here, is fish tacos. To make sure they don't get super soggy for me, what they did is they just went ahead and gave me the fish in the taco, all blackened like I like, because I do not like fried fish tacos. I prefer all my fish tacos to be grilled. So they gave me a little topping boat here, along with their little spicy sauce. So we got some pico, some cheese, and some uh, lettuce here. This sauce is what makes these fish tacos because it is absolutely amazing. One day I'll ask them what it is, I honestly have no idea, but it's spicy and just the right amount of tang to go with the fish. Mm. Delicious little bite. Mmm. Whew. Mouth is on four. Easily a four out of five claws. Mmm. I love how they package it to make sure they get to home in a, a manner you can still eat and it's not falling apart. Like what happened with our Mo's video, but you know, everybody's learning right now, so we get it. But this sauce, if I could, I would bottle it. If they bottled it, I would buy it. But definitely four out of five claws, absolutely delicious. Order the fish tacos, you will not regret it. It's on their specialty menu. But I also got a side of rice and beans. All tasty looking up in its manger. Just gonna take an all in one bite here. Mmm. Rice is cooked and it's got the spice to it. The beans aren't overly greasy. Consistently consistent. Two and a half out of five claws. This whole thing together, definitely giving a solid four out of five claws. I just love this place. They always treat us well. Agreed. The service is amazing. They always go above and beyond. The manager comes out every shift. He goes around to every table. And he, he recognizes everybody that comes in. So like he'll talk to you, catch up with you. He's and the absolutely nicest love guy. This place. Yes. And please, people, if you're gonna go out in time, tip these people. A little bit yes. maybe, even if you can afford it a little bit extra. They're having a hard time right now. They're trying to do everything they can to stay in business while still feeding us. So I took care of them today. I would like that you guys do the same. Princess, you have any thoughts? If you can get local Mexican that's not Tex-Mex, highly recommend. Of course, there's no better Mexican food than that of California. She's never going to let that, that go. outside of Mexico, of course. Um, if you're ever in the North Florida area, definitely look up Margaritas. We do highly recommend this place. We go here a lot. Um, very happy that they're still open during yes. this time. They are very small. They're not even a chain. No. They're like a single restaurant. Yeah, I think maybe a place has maybe like 20, 25 tables. It's very that. small. Small but, family owned, but really great. Mm -hmm. We're happy to support them. If you've been to Margaritas in North Florida, what I need you to do is go and hit them up and leave them some good feedback on their restaurant even now. Yes. And if you haven't been, I definitely say go try them out. If there's anything else you guys want to see us try for takeout, it looks like we're going to be under self-quarantine for just a little bit longer. Leave us comments on where you guys would like to see us go. We are willing to drive. Gas is cheap now. Yeah, it is. And um, you know how to let us know in the comments below. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. And we will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl.